this scenario we simulate an automatism for the irrigation of our garden taking water from a nearby well. It is a natural well that is fed by groundwater, and we do not know how often it is filled. We have a submerged pump that will extract the water for irrigation. Since we do not want our pump to work empty and burn out, we have to control that it stops working when there is not enough water left in the well. To carry out this control, we use a PNSA level relay to which we will connect the NS conductive probes, responsible for detecting the presence of water. The operation of level relays is based on the conductivity of the liquid they are controlling. They measure the resistivity between the probes and act on a relay depending on the presence or lack of liquid. In the case of well water, the conductivity can vary depending on the quantity and type of mineral salts that make up the subsoil, derived from the geographical area or the orography of the place. The measurement range of the PNSA relay covers practically all of this type of water. Using the button located on the front, we adjust the value from which it will act when the liquid is not detected. NS probes are conductive electrodes made of stainless steel and protected by a polypropylene body. They are heavy so that they remain stable when hanging from the cable to which they are connected and do not lose their position. We'll need three NS probes. One of them, the one located in the lowest part, is called reference, since it is the one that closes the electrical circuit with the other two and must always be in contact with the water. The minimum probe must be placed slightly above the previous one, and it is the one that will stop the pump in case of lack of water. The maximum probe is the one that will enable the pump so that it can start up once there is enough water in the well. It is convenient that you consult the installation manuals to know the precautions that must be taken into account, the type of cable to use, etc. Links to these documents are in the video description. We recommend that the pump be connected to a contactor to prevent the relay contacts from being damaged during starts and stops. Let's start our automation assuming that the well is full of water. When applying voltage to the system, the relay is activated and the pump starts. The green LED for voltage presence and the red LED for activated relay light up. When the relay detects that the water level is below the minimum probe, it switches, stopping the pump. If the power supply to the system is not cut off, the irrigation will restart when the water level reaches the maximum probe, repeating this cycle uninterruptedly until we act on the general switch. This will happen whenever the flow ejected by the pump is greater than the flow with which the well is naturally filled. By stopping the system manually, we restore the conditions of the PNSA level relay, waiting for a new startup. In this case, if the water level is between the maximum and minimum probes, the pump will not start until the water reaches the point where the maximum probe is located. We hope that this video has been useful for you to better understand the basic operation of a conductive level relay. In the description, you will find a link to the electrical diagram of the installation that we have just seen. We have models with different functions to apply to more complex level control systems. Check our website, contact us if you have questions and follow us on this channel to discover more examples.